What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Today I'm gonna go through my collection and give you an insider's look at my bar. Here we go. All right, so here we are in my basement. If you're new to the channel, I renovated this basement in the summer of 2021. It was pretty much completely done by fall of 2021. It's been about a year now. Uh, this is my collection. 99% of these bottles here on this shelf are open. I do have some stuff sealed, uh, but today we're gonna focus on my open bottle collection. In this section, I should say, sorry for the quick movement there. This is all open bottles that I haven't reviewed yet. Okay, so I still need to review this entire section here, probably about 50 bottles on each side here, if not a little bit more. All right, starting over here with the Dramore, which is a four square. This is an independent bottler, Scottish independent bottler. They are producing some really cool stuff. Okay, Craig Alecki 13, which I really need to review soon. This was a gift uh, from a friend, Whiskey Throttle, used to have a YouTube channel. He still, I guess, technically does, but doesn't really post much. Uh, this is a grain whiskey by Invergordon, uh, selected by keg and cork definitely gonna have to review that soon i was waiting for him to do that bottle that review but he bailed on me so we'll see what happens it'll happen soon this is a smws probably the last smws that we purchased uh jeremy and i sorry for the shaky camera um kalila and i have a whole bunch of independent kalilas that i gotta get to Gordon McPhail, Klein Leash. I'm not sure why I haven't reviewed that one yet, but it's coming. And then we have two Brewers 35 back here. I just opened this bottle with some friends. Tobamori 12. I bought a bottle of Tobamori 12 a long time ago, so that's technically my second bottle, but I don't remember it much from then. Wild Turkey Cornerstone. That's the rye. This is a Kensington Wine Market exclusive of the Pete and Sherry by Elements of Isla. Really cool stuff. Uh, Last Straw Rye, cast strength at the back there. This is a Belvini with a drop of Glenfiddich, all 25 years old, 54.7%. Like I said, uh, another Kalila independent in the back there. That's a Valentin Mallet. Uh, gift from Peter White over here. This is the Balconis, which I'm going to compare with the Archives Balconis that I have back there. So that's going to happen soon, hopefully. Um, Bunnahaven, this is the Port Age 10 year old, 56.2%. Um, I haven't gone to this. I've only tried it once or twice. I'm not really sure why I haven't gone back to it. Uh, Long Grow Red, that is from last year, I believe, the 10-year-old refill Malbec. This is a Heads and Tails Whiskey Agency um, blend, and it's 19 years old. Okay, over here to now available in the LCBO, Great Plains, 18-year-old. All right, another gift right here from my buddy Kevin. This is the Caden Heads Seven Star. Honestly, guys, there's no real rhyme or reason why I haven't reviewed some of this stuff. It's all pretty tasty. Cleola 13 from Malt Barn. Glen Going 25. Jeremy and I spoke about this before, but I haven't, I guess, formally reviewed it. Talisker 8 from last year. Again, not sure why I haven't gone back to this much. I liked it when I tried it. There's a Valentin Mallet back here from the art series that they do. Glendolin, 12 year old. That's still pretty full too. I'm not sure why I haven't come back to that. Uh, maybe you guys can help me out with this once you view this video. Strathmill, 14 year old, cast strength, sherry finish, pretty good. Uh, Linkwood, 15. This is the new 46% version, really good. I gotta get to that. Uh, Two Brewers, batch or release 33, 58%. Got to get to this one as well. Uh, this Amrut, I can honestly say I, I've been avoiding. This is the uh, Bahira. Wasn't a big fan when I tried it. Pretty sulfury, in my opinion. Uh, got 
this bottle alongside the rye, I think it is. Uh, when they released them with a buddy of mine, we split the bottles, uh, planning to do them side by side, but they weren't really that good, so I just really didn't go back to them. This is another Kensington Wine Market exclusive, the Ben Ryan's 11 year old, uh, really good stuff. And then another Kensington Wine Market uh, exclusive, which was the Mortlock 22. I just got to get back to that one. That's very, very tasty stuff. It's a first fill bourbon cask. Uh, Makers 101, Apogee, uh, the Bimber, um, aged in the Bimber distillery, but I believe that's a Scotch, a 12 year old. Uh, Whistle Pig Piggyback, another whiskey agency. This is from Ireland, 17 years old. Uh, the newer Amrut Port Nova, uh, wasn't a big fan of that one either. Unfortunately, not as good as it used to be. Another Kensington Wine Market exclusive, this uh, 15 year old Armagnac cask. Uh, the Balvini 15, all right. Some Japanese whiskey here. We got the Nika Peated 2021. I got that one from Vine Arts, I believe. And then this Plantations Rum Fiji 2009, and that's Peated, or Asian of Peated Cask anyway. Uh, Daphne 2009. I'm just gonna quickly scan through some of these ones at the bottom. The Kings Barns, no reason why these are not open. I need to open them. I really wanna try them. Just was supposed to do that with Jeremy. Another Kensington Wine Market exclusive. This is a 17 year old first fill bourbon, or sorry, 18 year old first fill bourbon, uh, Benaromic. Really, really good stuff. Very farmy. Uh, Spay Malt. That's the Macallan that we were drinking with Mike and Narby in the Whiskey Rant. And a few barrels. I got the Batch 32. I got the Dovetail, the Seagrass the New Year's. I like them. Again, not sure why I haven't reviewed them yet. Uh, Loch Lomond 12 and Royal Brockla 12 I just bought, mainly because they're both 46% and available at the LCBO at a decent price. Uh, Casa Amigos is a little bit tequila for you. This is the Anejo. Sons of Vancouver. These guys are doing some cool things. This is 100% rye aged in a rum cask, which is actually really, really good, 53.5%. Busker, this was sent to me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna review it. I still have to try it, uh, but that's on the dock. These two uh, shelter points are phenomenal. They're the newer releases, the Ripple Rock and the Single Malt, both excellent. As you can tell, I like Kensington Y Market exclusives. This is a Glen Allocky 2006 Oloroso cask, 15 years old, really, really good stuff. And uh, what all the hype is about this new Ard McKirin, or McKirchin, I don't know, I'm, I knew I was gonna butcher that. Um, the AD0222, that's the one that Aquavite speaks about, and I believe uh, Mike from Malt Reviews speaks about this one as well. All right, and then you guys have seen this set a few times to know that the TV's in the middle. I'll go over to the stuff that I have reviewed, start at the bottom, or at least things that I won't be reviewing, that's why it's here. Um, so these 40 Creeks here, the newest release, which is the Art of Blend. Okay, uh, you can check out a post I made on Instagram with that one. We got the Bimber that I raved about, you guys saw that one. Uh, some other stuff that's open. That one right there with the graffiti art is uh, an amaru. It's really, really good. One of the best amaroots I've tried in a little while. Okay, two lot 40s, the dark oak and the 18 year old. Big fan of this compass box right here. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of Laphroaig on this uh, shelf. I do buy a lot of Laphroaig. Uh, this is the cast strength. That's the triple wood, a gift for my buddy P-Boss. The art bag. Five, um, four square nobility. Glen Farkless, 185 back there. Uh, the two boulders that were featured on a recent live, there's the Highland Park 15 back there. 
that Gordon McPhail that you see there is just a uh, infinity bottle. It's not actually the bottle, so there's no sense in showing it. Um, Kilcarran 8, that's the newest sherry. And then there's the Weller Special Reserve and Angel's Envy. And a couple grappas there as well. All right, going over here to the Cavalons I have, I have this Madeira. This back here is the Virgin Oak, which is almost done. This rum cask is excellent. It's from Prestige. Very, very good stuff. Uh, made for Canada, Oloroso exclusive right here. Really good. Then we got the Blue Spot seven-year-old, the remnants of a Hibiki 17-year-old. Probably should have traded that for a really good scotch. Glenfiddich Cask of Dreams. Glen Farkless 1990, Aaron 10, Altmore 18. This North Star 13 is a Glen Alki. I already reviewed it. Really, really nice stuff. Nice color to it too. That's the Glen Alki Batch 10 there, the 12, the 18. Those are all recent releases. A Knock 24, gotta have a bottle of this on the bar at all times. Really, really good stuff at a pretty affordable price. That's the Krangamore 20. I'm not sure why I don't go back to that more often. It's a very good whiskey. Glen Farkless 15, another very good whiskey. Whole bunch of Shelter Point here. We got the 10 year old. We got the Smoke Point. We got the 10 year old Prohibition, which is a smoky one. Uh, we've got a couple two brewers here as well. We got the release 29, which was 12 years old. Excellent stuff. And the release 19, which was a while back. Peated, very nice. All right to the gems of the collection in many people's opinion. All right, we got that Springbank 8 Society release. We got the 10 year old, and there's a little sneaky bottle back here of the 28, the 200 mil Society release. The 18, the newest 2022 15, the 2020 21 year old Springbank. These are all open guys. Uh, Hazelburn 13, limited edition from last year. I did acquire the 15, I just haven't done a review on that one yet. Uh, Hazelburn 21, which I just reviewed. Hazelburn 13, which was acquired a couple of years ago. All right, so that actually says the date right there. Yeah, 2020. The Kilcarran 16 is hiding back here a little bit. All right, Kilcarran 12. The Karchis Warehouse 1 from last year. The Lafroig 16, the Lafroig Karchis uh, PX Cast Strength, which was a couple years ago. Last year's special release Lagavulin 12. I'm really looking forward to the newest Lagavulin 12. And we got Lagavulin 8. Uh, Kensington, actually, sorry, this is not a Kensington wine market. This is a single cask from Chateau Louis, I believe. Yeah, that is the stamp right there. And that was 10 years old, really good stuff. And then the Glen Scotia 18 at the back. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's my open collection here. All right, to the right, like I said, is the stuff that I've reviewed. And to the left was the stuff that I have not. If you see something that you really want me to review on the left, please comment below. Hope you enjoyed this video. And obviously the token rock has to be there. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Cheers guys.